Bellator president Scott Coker figured the friendship between flyweight champion Liz Carmouche and Alima Leigh McFarlane would go out the window once the bell rang in their Bellator 300 fight. It wasn't quite like that, but in the end, one of them was taken off on a stretcher. Carmouche, 20-7 MMA, 7-0 BMMA, who wasn't at risk of losing her title after McFarlane, 13-3 MMA, 12-3 BMMA, missed weight, earned a surprising fifth-round TKO victory to retain her belt Saturday night at Pechinga Arena that, at times, resembled a glorified sparring session, at least in the beginning. Round one saw the two friends mostly just circle each other, with McFarlane initiating most of the offense, although nothing significant ever landed. Prior to round two, referee Blake Grice brought both women to the center of the cage to encourage action, but it didn't exactly resonate. It wasn't until round three that things took a turn once Carmouche found a home for leg kicks that McFarlane had trouble defending. Carmouche landed several of them, which showed visible damage on McFarlane's left leg. That continued into round four, with a Carmouche leg kick dropping McFarlane to the canvas, but the champ didn't rush in for a finish and let her friend back up. Some more leg kicks had McFarlane nearly hopping on one leg, but she made it to the end of the round hobbling back to her corner. Just 17 seconds into the fifth, Carmouche landed one more leg kick as McFarlane closed distance, and this one buckled the challenger for good and forced Grice to stop the fight. Given what was said leading up to the fight, it likely wasn't the way Carmouche would have liked the fight to end but was unavoidable, 